Now that the Pfizer vaccine has received full approval, some people who were hesitant may be ready to get the shot. BNC correspondent Janine Donaldson takes a closer look. I'm getting it because it's too many people catching the vax. I mean, too many people catching COVID and I really don't want it. And if I do catch it, I want to be able to fight off the virus as much as possible. But quite a patent pulled up to a vaccine clinic in Charlotte after learning the Pfizer vaccine was approved by the FDA. I'm kind of scared. Men said that it's not going to completely vaccinate us, but being that it's approved, I feel much better now to do it. So that was what got you to come down yes. today. Yes, the approval comes as the Delta variant causes COVID cases to spike across the country among mostly unvaccinated people. We see the worst case overloads for ICU beds and pediatric ICU beds in places that have the least amount of vaccinated populations. I mean, so the South uh, has been uh, at this point a real hotbed, um, Texas all the way through Florida, all the way up through the, uh, the eastern seaboard. BNC chief medical correspondent Dr. Corey A. Bear says the vaccine was safe to use before the approval and nothing's changed. The FDA wasn't waiting to see if this was safe before they gave the full approval. The FDA has to go through the processes to make sure that they've reviewed all the data and it is a it, it is a literal, a, literally an administrative process. According to the CDC, black people in the United States still have the lowest vaccination rates of any racial or ethnic group, with just over 30% receiving at least one dose of the COVID vaccine, while just 26% are fully vaccinated. Dr. Aaron Piramzadi, and Chief Medical Officer for StarMed Healthcare in North Carolina, says the situation is like pouring gasoline on a ticking time bomb. You have a situation where you have a large unvaccinated population. You have the same population that's already at risk for death. You're putting all this together with an upcoming season of very bad flu and upcoming season of this Delta variant that we're worried is going to keep mutating. Black people are three times more likely to be hospitalized or die from COVID. Dr. Hebert is pleading with the community to get the shot, saying if you've been hesitant, let the FDA Pfizer approval be your reason to get it now. The thing that's going to make this needle move is people saying don't come to work and you're not going to get paid unless you get vaccinated because if you don't, get vaccinated and you get infected, th these are the cases where where the, the, the variants actually come from. Dr. Hebert estimates within the next 45 days, more companies and universities will mandate workers and students be vaccinated. Health officials warn those against the vaccine. With FDA approval, it now allows companies to feel safer to do so. And there's almost no grounds for anyone to actually refuse it from a company standpoint. Now to Texas, where governor and House Republicans are introducing a restrictive voting bill after efforts in Harris County, a majority Democratic area, to make voting easier for people of color. BNC D uh, Derek Lewis has more from Houston on the impact of federal voting legislation and what it could do in the state. The Brennan Center for Justice, an organization that tracks state voting bills, reports 18 states have enacted 30 laws this year that restricts voting access. Across 49 states, including Texas, more than 400 voting restrictive bills have been introduced. Republicans in Texas have called it an election integrity bill. They know that they've got to come after brown and black folk and, and those folks who are disenfranchised and marginalized so that they can consolidate and keep power. Otis Evagaro, the chairman of the Harris County Democrats, says during the pandemic, efforts were made to make sure people in black and brown communities could get to the polls. Republicans accused them of cheating in the last presidential election. Souls to the polls Sunday, where historically black communities go out, go to church, worship, and then come back and go vote and exercise their civil duties. I mean, this, these are the things that they're trying to do in restricting the hours of souls to the polls on Sunday, knowing that it's specifically targeting African-American communities. In response, Governor Greg Abbott pushed for the GOP-supported election integrity bill to pass. So they've got to cheat. It's ironic they're talking about quote-unquote election integrity, but finding every which way to take shortcuts to cheat to make sure that your voice isn't being heard and my voice isn't being heard. There has been no evidence of fraud in the last election. 
you're more likely to get struck by lightning or a meteor or even fall dead at a dance party than you are to find election fraud. To stop the bill from passing in the Texas House, Democrats, including Jasmine Crockett, flew to D.C. during a special session to get Congress to act. We still see kind of this white supremacy attitude that permeates through all of our legislation on a state level as well as a federal level, and it's time for that to stop. While the fight is on, Texans fighting for the right to vote for people of color will be there. Harris County is always going to fight. We're going to be at the forefront of it. And you better believe we're going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that the freedom to vote is protected. Your Black History Moment is next.